Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's performance of the 2019 Christmas Holiday Concert here at the Community College of Beaver County, presented by the Beaver County Symphonic Wind Ensemble and the Manaka Cornet Band, and the newly formed Beaver County Choir Ensemble seated above the band. We are delighted to be here tonight to present the sounds of the season and hope you'll enjoy tonight's program. Our opening number was written by Leroy Anderson and premiered by the Boston Pops Orchestra. It was called Christmas Festival. And now Kevin Newton will direct the band in the Overture to Miracle on 34th Street. It was the 1994 remake of the 1947 film classic and it starred six-year-old Mara Wilson and Richard Attenborough as Chris Kringle. Our soloists in this number are Deanna Jacobs on piccolo, Katrina Lewandowski on flute, and Rich Cheyenne on oboe. This is Overture to Miracle on 34th Street. Thank you. 
Before proceeding with our program, I would like to make this particular announcement. Tonight's 2019 holiday concert is underwritten by the Beaver County Commissioners by a community grant through Beaver County Tourism that was coordinated by Beaver Valley Musicians Union Local 82545, chartered by the American Federation of Musicians. We have 16 new members in our ensemble and I'd like to take recognition of those individuals joining us for the first time this evening. The 16 of you, will you please stand? Don't be shy. Thank you for your applause. Jean Busack, the director of the Monaca Cornet Band, is at the podium. She's going to direct our next two numbers. First, with Feliz Navidad, a carol or a Christmas song that was introduced by Jose Feliciano back in 1970. And that will be followed by the Brenda Lee hit of 1960, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree.
Before we go any further in tonight's program, we're going to deviate from the crypt notes that Kevin prepared for this evening's performance. And I'm going to ask Kevin and Jean to come over to the mic for a special presentation. This one is fine. Yeah. Little obstacle course. Here comes Jean. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all through the year, these two have devoted a lot of work in preparing both the Manaka Cornet Band and the Beaver County Symphonic Wind Ensemble in providing entertainment for the concerts that are presented in the summer in the various communities and the holiday concert held here at the community college. A lot of work goes into putting these programs together behind the scenes, picking up the music, directing the band, and organizing the concerts. And Kevin, we would like to show our appreciation with the token of our thanks and gratitude. Thank you. And Jean. Thank you. Thank you for your service as well. And now to our regularly scheduled program. Devin Householder is coming to the podium direct a song that was written by Johnny Marks back in 1949. It was introduced by Gene Autry, of all people, a popular song called Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Devin is the assistant director of the Manaka Cornet Band, and he's also the band director at the Ambridge Area Intermediate School. He has our deepest sympathy.
Good. All right, here we go. Um, so, for the past six years, um, I have been very fortunate enough to be on the band staff at Ambridge High School. Um, I don't, can't believe it's been six years already, but um, this year, last year we had a few students participate with us, but the rest of the band was enjoying their time at Disney. So this year we've got six students from Ambridge participating, and sorry I didn't include the choir kids, sorry, so there I think there's eight, nine, nine. So at this time I would like for them to stand and be recognized for their, for giving up their time to come and play with us. Some of them are even freshmen. Very good, very good musicians. Um, a couple dates I want to give you really quickly. Next week, um, on Wednesday the 18th, um, the Ambridge High School Jazz Band, um, <coughs> Concert Band, Choirs, they're going to have their holiday concert next Wednesday, 7 o'clock at the high school. If you're free, please go support them. Um, I can't say enough about supporting the arts in schools. Um, it's, it's just, we, don't, we can't get around it. So if you're free, please go support their concert next week, next Wednesday, 7 o'clock at the high school. Um, and looking even further ahead, um, put this date on your calendars, March 24th. That's a Tuesday night, 7 o'clock. Um, we're going to have our second side-by-side. -side. Um, last year we did one with Ambridge. It was, it was a pretty good concert. Um, but this year we're going to partner with them again. That's going to be on March 24th at 7 o'clock at the high school. Um, so mark your calendars for that. Um, I think that's it. Back to you, Bob. The Broadway stage has been a source of popular music over the years. And it also applies to Christmas music and holiday music. Our next selection is called Christmas on Broadway, as arranged by John Higgins, and it contains a lot of music from the Broadway stage going back to the turn of the century for music selections written by Victor Herbert for Babes in Arms from 1903. That operetta contained March of the Toys and Toyland. Meredith Wilson wrote a musical titled Here's Love, and from that musical we present it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, and pine cones, hollies, and berries. From Rogers and Hammerstein's Sound of Music, it includes my favorite things. Then there's Jerry Herman's selection from Mame, We Need a Little Christmas. And then Alan Menkel wrote, God Bless Us Everyone from A Christmas Carol, a production from 1994. In this selection, we feature the Ambridge High School Jazz Choir, directed by Mrs. Marie Dewar. Here is Christmas on Broadway.
Now we call on Ted Nevin, the Director Emeritus of the Beaver County Symphonic Wind Ensemble, to direct our next two pieces of music. But before we get into the music program, we'd like to recognize some more of the high school students that are participating with us this evening. Well, the students from Riverside High School that are playing tonight, please stand. Thank you for joining us. And now the students, please, from Central Valley High School that are in the ensemble. We're growing. And now Ted will direct two great numbers for the season, 
starting with it's the most wonderful time of the year made popular by Andy Williams and that will be followed by the perennial favorite by Leroy Anderson sleigh ride that will take us to our intermission break of 10 minutes so stay tuned
Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to begin our second half of tonight's concert for the holiday season. But first, we would like to draw your attention to the end seat in the French horn section. We started our concert rehearsals with everyone attending. And unfortunately, the week prior to Thanksgiving, one of our members, Jack Diatri, passed away from a heart attack. And for this reason, we have left the end seat vacant in his honor, and we have placed a candle and a small wreath in his memory.
Yes, Ted Devon has directed our opening selection in the second half of tonight's concert, Fest of Christmas, written by Kenny Beershank. It featured on piccolo Deanna Jacobs and Katrina Lewandowski. And now Jean Busack returns to the podium to direct the selection Hanukkah Festival of Lights. Hanukkah is celebrated this year from the evening of December 22nd through the evening of December 30th. This selection includes three pieces of music, Baruch Shel Hanukkah, Hanukkah or Hanukkah, and Maot Sir. And it features Emily Onyofrak playing clarinet. Here is Hanukkah Festival of Lights. Kwanzaa is celebrated this year 
from Thursday, December 26th through Wednesday, January 1st. It's a seven-day holiday, and our next selection is one of the pieces played during Kwanzaa. It's entitled Imani, which means faith, the seventh day of Kwanzaa. When people greet each other during this particular holiday, they wish, wish each other joyous Kwanzaa. In tonight's selection, we feature again Deanna Jacobs on piccolo and Katrina Lewandowski on flute in Imani.
poem from Dr. Seuss. The Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why, no one quite knows the reason. It could be perhaps that his shoes were too tight. It could be his head wasn't screwed on just right. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. Now one, two, three, one, two, three, Kevin leads the band. How the Grinch stole Christmas, it's what he has planned.
need the tickets from the Santa table. All right, so who's having a good time tonight? I have to tell you that this is probably one of the biggest crowds we've ever had at one of our concerts. Um, about as big as our 4th of July concert. So thank you all for being here, really appreciate it. Um, before we, um, sorry. Wasn't there a tree there? <laughs> Who stole it? The Grinch? Oh my God. Do you, it's, it's not really Christmas without a tree. Do you think they'd bring it back? What if we ask him really nice? Here we go. We're going to chant it. Bring it back. Here we go. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Okay, maybe, maybe we need to be louder. Let's try it louder. Oh, here he oh. There we go. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hope that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were all nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away from the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutter and threw up the slash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear? But a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so live and so quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his courses they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Prancer, now Donner, now Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all.
the leaves that before the wild hurricane fly when they meet with an obstacle out to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew with the toys and a uh, sleigh and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew my head and was turning around, down the ch chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry, his droll little mouth was drawn up in a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. And laying a finger beside his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all, good night! Thank you.